guys, it's Amy from Now Polish Baby 90 and welcome to today's video. Today we are here with April favourites. Um and yeah, should we we start with polishes? I have a teeny tiny little YouTube update at the end. So we'll do polishes first. And as always, we will start with mainstream first. So I have a four this month. Um, I tend to notice that I'm not wearing as much mainstream anymore. If I do wear mainstream, it tends to be as part of a Money and Lola box, and then the polishes are shown in that video, or they are shown as part of a full collection review. So I don't really have a ton of odd mainstreams anymore, but we will do the ones that I have. So two OPI, the one in the Infinite Shine finish is Colmates, and Colmates came out in the Holiday Collection 2017, I think, pretty sure, the XOXO Collection. I picked this up on sale, um, it was one of the only ones that I would have picked up if I bought them at the time. Um, it was okay. It, it, it was just fine. So it's like a bluey, purpley, indigo-y base. And then there is a ton of silver shimmer in here. It was just fine. I wouldn't rave and rave and rave about it, but it was fine. Completely opaque in two. That was Colmates by OPI. I am still a bit congested as well, so if my voice is a bit nasally, that is why, so I apologise. This one then is called Step Right Up. Now, I had a gift set that my, my parents had got me, and it was in a cute little OPI bag. And if I'm honest, I'd never worn any of the polishes that were in it, and I wasn't even sure what polishes were in it. So I got them all out recently, and one of them was this one. So this is a very, very sheer, like, whitish colour. Um, it was not the best sheer I've ever tried in the world. It was still a little bit uneven. If it's going to be sheer, I like it to be sheer and even. Um, what you're going to see is three coats. I don't know where this is coming from, like what collection it was from originally or anything. Um, it's just called Step Right Up and what you're seeing is three coats. That's OPI. Colour Club is not a brand I show a lot, but here we have one. This is called Love is Love, and this was one that I picked up in the Black Friday sale from Nail Polish Direct. They had a sale on a lot of their Colour Clubs, so I thought I would go for one, and I don't wear Colour Club enough, really. Every single time I try one, they're very good formulas. I just say that their collections maybe aren't the most exciting out there, but look at that. this one is called um, Love is Love, let me just double check that, yes, Love is Love, and it is a light purple with a very strong silver shimmer to it. It's very similar to Marley, which is uh, by Zoya, which is what I got in the Maddie and Lola box this month, which is so creepy in a way that I wear this one and then I wear an almost dead on dupe for it in the same month. This one was my favourite if you're just comparing this one to Marley. So just three coats of Love is Love by Colour Club. Last mainstream is by Zoya and this is Willa and this is just their standard black cream. A very nice black cream. It did get opaque in three coats by itself. Some of these, if I was going to use them as a base, I would say two. But if you're wearing them by themselves, I would say three. And I think that for most blacks and whites, there's only one black that I have that's super really opaque in two coats and that's model a model zone one i think it's just one of their hyper gels the black hyper gel so this one was willa and that was three coats and it's zoya on to indies now i realized a few videos ago a few favorites ago i said i was going to try and get through all of the polishes that i had that were no longer being made anymore and then i found i have a few more than what i originally thought this first one is frenzy polishes to the north pole of course and this is must have been a christmas polish at some point and this is a blue jelly base with a ton of shard glitter in and the shard glitter is gold and blue um, a really nice polish doesn't really necessarily have to be a christmas polish it was just a really nice blue cranny mix got completely opaque in two so that one was to the north pole of course by frenzy polish I have a hair polish and this is called Electric Flame and this is one of the old, old hair polishes. This is how they originally had their packaging with a little bunny on one side and on the back it had their name. Um, I really, hair polish is like one of the ones to me that I really miss uh, but I just, I just really would, would like them to come back. I think they've been gone for like four years now or something but I really liked hair polish a lot. So this one is a bright orange with a strong purple like glittery reflex in it. It reminds me a lot of like a brown one they have. That might be a fish one. I think this is from the fish, like a fishy collection. Um, I, uh, it was at the top, tip of my tongue there, but I can't remember. Anyway, this is a sheer polish. What you see is three coats. So it's pretty much there, but I can imagine this would be a really nice topper just to add if you had just a cream orange polish because that purple reflect and opalescent shimmer in it is really interesting. So that one was Electric Flame by Hair Polish. 
Okay, let's do two that were polished pickups. This first one is Oh My Glob by Level Up Lacquer. This is one of the ones that I didn't actually order. They got my order muddled up, but I ended up with this one by accident. And it's a beautiful lavender colour with a lot of gold little flakies in there. It's really interesting. I don't have anything that's the purple with the gold combined. Um, and it was a nice surprise, I guess, when I got to keep it, even though I didn't order it. Um, so yeah, I tried Level Up Lacquer before. Um, I've always been pretty impressed with everything they put out. So this one is Oh My Glob by Level Up. I pick in two, and this is from November's Polish Pickup. Dollish Polish Queen Bees Wispies. This was from February's Polish Pickup, I want to say, yes, which the theme was sweets. And oh my goodness, I love this one. What you're going to see is three coats, and it's this super bright pinky coral, again with a ton of opalescent flakes in here. The flakes are quite large, it just gives you this kind of like magical, sparkly effect to it. And it does look like sugar, like on a sweet, like a hard boiled sweet, which is what they're trying to be that's what they're trying to go for so they've really succeeded in that I absolutely love this one is it too early to say one of my favorites of the year possibly but don't be surprised if you see this in polishes of the year Queen Bees Wispies by Dollish Polish from Polish Pickup February I have one by Super Chick Lacquer and this is called Pleasant Surprise and this is a light blue with a strong silver shimmer to it and the silver shimmer almost makes it look frosty and I know that not everybody likes frosty polishes. I had another one by them which is in a pink formula. And I can't think what that one was called. But it's pretty much the blue version of that pink polish. Uh, where it's like this almost like say like frosty. I would say frosty. It's almost like a frosty effect. But it's just such a weird combination to me. I still think it's really weird. And I've worn two in this a formula. I'm not sure how I feel about them. I'm not sure how I feel. So three coats of Pleasant Surprise by Super Chick Lacquer. I have one by Moonshine Manny and this is Baby Love and this is part of her spring collection and this is a beautiful bright baby pink colour with um, a ton of larger flakies in here. They're more like shard glitters but they did it, they removed really easy so they might have been shard glitters, they might have been super large flakies. I'm not sure. And then there's also a gold like flash that runs throughout it. This was completely opaque in two, it was just a really nice bright springtime polish. I can hear myself getting more congested the more I talk. So that is two coats of Baby Love by Moonshine Manny. And as always, all indies will be linked down below. I then have a pretty serious, and this is Herald of the Skeleton War. And this is a really interesting polish, and I don't think I've seen anything like this before. It's a green, like a dark, deep forest green base with blue and purple glitters in here. And they all complement each other really, really nicely. And it's this really nice jewel toed, autumn y feeling polish. And like I say, I've never seen this combination in any other way green, blue, and purple. Because if you said that out loud, it sounds like it's going to be a hot mess. But this is just really stunning. It is a jelly formula with the glitters in it, so it did take three coats to be completely opaque. If you can, if they still make this, you really should try and pick it up. Herald of the Skeleton War, I always forget the name, but it's pretty serious. And the last two are Palishes, and they are uh, Harry Potter ones. So we have Slytherin. I said I was going to wear one a month of the remaining house colours that I had. So this is Slytherin. So this is a dark foresty green more of a mid-tone if you compare it to um herald of the skeleton war this is definitely a lot lighter and there is a ton of golden flakies in here um, i really like the mixture of the gold and the green together it, it it could have easily looked very festive and if you wore it at christmas time it probably would look fine um so two coats of slytherin by palish and then we have dumbledore's army and i actually wore this the last time i filled when i was in a yellow t-shirt and i was absolutely in love with this one it's a teal um jelly base with a ton of flakies in here and this is just beautiful the the like flaky to base ratio is perfect the consistency of the credit base is perfect the color I love this one so, so, so much. So that one was two coats of Dumbledore's Army by Palish. One empty for this month, and this is a top coat. This is the Ribble Finishing Touch um, Ultra Hot Shine Top Coat. Holy Grail product for me. Love this. Always will repurchase it. It's just £5 in the supermarket. A great, fast-drying, thick, shiny top coat. And on to a little bit of YouTube admin. I just wanted to put it out there that I know I said last month that I had been struggling a bit with uploads, and that still continued through um, April. April's been a pretty crazy month for me. Um, so I have decided for the next probably three months 
months that I'm going to be dropping down to two videos a week with a potential for a third one if I want to do them. So you'll get two videos a week, definitely one on a Monday and the second one will either be Thursday or Saturday. Next week, the weeks that you're seeing this video, I'm going to be doing three because I have some swatches to do for some indie brands. But from, apart from that, you're going to be seeing two uploads a week. I can try and get a bit ahead of myself and then spend some time on the videos that I know are going to take longer. Like I want to do my stamping video, I want to do that SE um, nail polish remover video, but that can take a lot longer to film and to edit and I feel stressed about doing those when I know I've got nothing planned. So if I can get really ahead with scheduled videos, I can spend a lot more time on things like that. So just bear with me if the videos are less. It doesn't, nothing's wrong. I just need to just, just slow down a little bit and um, just get myself sorted out a bit. That's all. Everything's good. So I hope you've had a good April and fingers crossed that the sunshine is returning. Last time I did my videos, it was so sunny and now it's wet and rainy. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, let me know what your April favourites were and I will see you soon.